Oh, hi everyone. So, the price of Elemental Earths has been going up significantly since AQ20 and AQ40 have started. Now, the reason for this is because they're involved with the production of greater nature protection pots, which are absolutely vital for AQ20 and AQ40, but mostly AQ40, I guess. So, today I thought I would talk to you about my secret place to farm elemental earths, right? So, let's just jump right in. So, guys, we really want to be farming are the um, elemental slaves. Not her, <laughs> obviously. Um, these guys, and they're kind of everywhere, as you can see, in this area. So, on the map, they're located in the east and the south. And there's quite a few of these guys, so by the time you've done one of these areas, the other area has usually respawned. So they're quite nice to farm. Now let's have a look at the loot table. So you're going to be getting a lot of jagged pieces of stone, which actually sell for quite a lot. Um, you're also going to be getting about elemental earth about 7% of the time. There's also some heavy stone here and uh, deep rock salt and stuff like that, which uh, the heavy heavy stone is definitely worth selling to a vendor because it usually, uh, sorry, selling to the auction house because it sells quite well. And the elemental earths are great. So yeah, 7% drop rate. You can get a higher drop rate in the badlands, but there's not as many of these elementals there and they're not quite as quick to kill. So I think... You're probably going to be looking at about, at about 15 per hour. So at the moment, they go for about 5 gold, maybe 550. But let's assume it's 5 gold. So that's about a 75 gold an hour farm. You know, which isn't bad. Um, you might get more in other places. But anyway, this is my fun little place. And, you know, I quite like the scenery here. So, welcome back, guys. I thought we could just run around and um, I could show you my method for killing these guys effectively. I should probably send the UI on. So, I prefer dual wielding here because it seems a lot faster on low level mobs. Obviously, auto loot's on. So, these guys just wander around this area and. I quite find this place quite relaxing, like I said. Um, I mean, Dalaran's quite nice. And apart from being useful for greater nature protection potions, they're also very, very useful for... Here we go, elemental sharpening stones, which I can actually sometimes manufacture and sell. Now, ordinarily, the elemental earth sell for about 350 Obviously, the price is up right now. So... The cost of building one of these elemental sharpening stones is about 7 gold 30, I would say, normally. Um, you know, which isn't too bad. I usually sell them for about 9.45 each on the auction house. Or I mentioned that they can sell for about 9 gold um, just in trade chat. And that may not sound like much, but if you're selling like 20 of them, then, you know, that's, um, what, about 30 gold right there. So it's not bad, actually. Like I say, these guys, these guys go down so easily. It's like um, just like running a knife through butter, really. <laughs> oh, I did also want to say, guys, my previous computer melted. So I've actually updated a few components, mostly the CPU and the motherboard. Yeah, it was quite expensive. But uh, yeah, it all seems to be running pretty good now. So I definitely want to read creating some awesome content for you guys and you know I was really reluctant to actually di disclose this location because even though I'm sure everyone knows it most people probably don't know that this is um, you know quite a good way of getting elemental ass and you know it's so easy because literally anyone can farm here as long as they're level 40 plus and it's going to be quicker if you're level 60 I guess a good place to level up to and you know make a profit as long as you can get these guys down the wizards and things 
are quite okay. They drop some silk cloth and some mage weave cloth. Um, these uh, summoners are kind of hilarious, right? So occasionally they'll decide to summon a whole army on you. So if you're a lower level player, you may want to um, kill them pretty quickly. But yeah, they will summon about 10 people um, to come and mob you. And, you know, I should imagine if you're a lower level player, they could probably cause you to um, die. So that's worth thinking about. I think they're still worth killing. And they actually drop um, a special rune, which can be used for opening certain boxes. But the boxes are all always full of rubbish, so that's not really worth it. So, okay, we've um, pretty much taken down all the elementals here. I'll just run over to the um, second location, just so we can have a quick look. As you guys can see, this isn't really a large area, and you really only want like one or two players farming here maximum. Really only one, if I'm honest. I mean, ordinarily, people will leave the area if you start farming here, or um, they'll leave within five minutes, basically. So if there is someone else here, I wouldn't worry too much. I need to get closer. So yeah, we're um, getting a bit of cloth, which is nice. So I hopefully should be getting a video out about AQ40 tomorrow, which would be great. And I sort of look forward to to doing that, you know, it's going to be quite exciting, I think. I mean, we haven't had new content in uh, a long time. And it'd be good to test my new computer and see how it's working and everything. I I don't really know if there's that much to say about these guys, other than the fact that you can, you know, nice and easily sort of farm these guys and get a nice load of um, elemental earth. Uh, the, the only other thing is, uh, I quite like farming here maybe late at night, so this is a really good grind spot for, you know, getting on some really good music and just, you know, relaxing, you know, without thinking about anything, you know, this isn't difficult, literally you can just run up and just, um, basically just collect for loot, you know. You may want to press a few buttons or whatever, but, uh, yeah, it's very simple. So, that's it, there's, um, a few more over the back there, guys. Uh, look out for chests, because some of the chests are useful, just not the ones which require the wizard's key to open. Uh, I don't know what it's like for other classes here, but for warriors it's pretty good, because the enemies are quite spread out. There we go, um, got another elemental earth. These are the chests I was talking about, so we can have a look at the junk if you want. This is where some like, amazing book drops. So, okay, um, you guys probably didn't see that, but it was um, a piece of parchment which dropped which is worth 23 copper. So yeah, barely even worth opening them, but uh, I suppose it's just a little bit of fun. I think there might be a quest item or something if you were to do the quest around here, though I, I'm not sure really. Um, the wizards do also drop a few greater healing potions and greater mana potions and things, so they're not completely worthless. Um, obviously you can sell the potions on the auction house. Uh, the silk I think it's actually worth converting the silk into bandages. Um, there's not a big difference in silk, but if you've got a lot of them. So yeah, a silk bandage costs one gold 50. Sorry, a silk cloth costs 150 and the bandage costs two copper. So yeah, there's a slight markup. Though, have a look at the auction house because maybe they're going for more than 150 each. But yeah, I'm not really that fast. It's the elemental worths I want. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and let me know what you think of a new format and I'll speak to you guys soon.